I didn't get the cue. Right, you gotta, no, 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 you gotta, we didn't record. Oh. I'm just starting the stream. I'm just He's gonna Leroy go. Jenkins and just start going. Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. I think that was planned. I think that was planned. It's staged. It was staged. He just got canned. What? Unbelievable. What the heck? Oh, Alright, I got some good PSAs for later. There's nothing but PSAs that happen within the, the entire week. Nothing but PSAs. <laughs> so, but uh, uh, mainly the E3 and the Street Fighter stuff. But, like, trust me, I got a good setup for you guys. And then uh, I'll put it in the chat so that everybody else can participate. You said you got a nice getup on. What? You know what? No, no, sorry. No. I'm waiting for the video to load. I don't know what the fuck is taking so long. Let me. I see it now. Period. Well, I gotta refresh it on my end. As long as I see it just once, then I don't give a fuck if it freezes. On my end. What the heck? Okay. All right. So we're about to start. So get ready in five, four, three, two, one. Yo, disloyal fool ass bitch. No, what's going on, new game order? <laughs> Jugging that bitch coming at you with the head crush for our podcast. Huh? It is June. Oh, June. No, it's not June. July. I'm tired. It's June. Man. It's June. Oh, what? yeah, yeah, it is June. I'm tired. Anyway, oh my this is Alex, Alex Flexus, aka the Juggernaut Bitch, new gaming order staff, what? Nelson, coming at you with this week's uh, podcast and gaming news. So, Going around the table with introductions, and I gotta look at my Skype screen, so I'm not um, skipping anybody. On your knees, intro. What's up? How was your week? Uh, it was shitty, uh, but I'm making do. And uh, let me see here. Uh, I gotta get my quick jab in at Alex. Uh, he's close. Uh, he's, he's under investigation for murdering Christopher Lee and Dusty Rhodes. So keep an eye out for that, Alex. Chill. <laughs> you know what? And and I wanna and <laughs> I don't want to give a big fuck to you to Steam. Uh, I made this mistake before, but apparently you cannot buy a four pack of a game if you already own it. It's okay. Over. So uh, um, I, I try to buy something and I don't know. What's up, Nelson? Oh, uh, hold on. No, I'm going to ask Alex. Do you want Takuma on or no? Uh, we already start. We'll During the PSA or the next segment, we'll, we'll bring him in because I'm trying to All right. start on time. All right, good. But Takuma, we got you, man. Just, just, just hang in there in the chat. We'll bring you on. All right. So, uh, Shinwar, opening remarks. Yo, it was hot today. Yeah, I know. I was sweating like Gaiman Hatsu in, in freaking Amistad, yo. All right. Huh? Go ahead. Look if I made that dude. joke, you would beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Who's going? Hold on. Really? And guess who's going... calling me on my cell phone during the podcast? Noop, you better... If you... Look, He's man. out buying a TV, yo. He said he wanted to get on, but yo, just keep going around the table. Who's next? <laughs> All right, shit, shit more. Open the reverse. Noob, I, I didn't forget to it's man. hot. I'm good. Who's next? What the? Heck? What kind of intro is that? I know it's, it's hot. hot. So I was cleaning my gutter on the roof. It was 90 degrees. Dang. All right. Um, the Mizzle from Free Play Mode. Uh, plug your site, your channel, and what? quick intro. Yo, what's up? It's Dave from the Free Play Mode and. Got Shinwar over here sounding like Ollie from Family Guy. How's the weather out there? It's hot. <laughs> Shots fired. Pop, pop. All right, all right. So, what's new uh, with your uh, your product with free play mode? Because you well, said you got a donation and you're doing some I like stuff. To I like to thank my fans because they apparently thought I sounded shitty enough to donate a new microphone to me. And this is no shitty mic. This is like a hundred dollar mic. So thank you, fans, for, for the free play mode gotcha. and of new gaming order for donating this mic to me. Much love to you. Sweet, sweet, <laughs> sweet. All right. And YC Playboy, the the man that put us on steroids, like that Jose Canseco Power Rangers, uh, My Way production thingy. What's going on? How was your week? Opening remarks. Um, I'm with Chris. My week was crappy as hell, so I gotta get on another plane and go to another part of the world tomorrow. Ah oh, man. Hey, you know what? Go to the desert tomorrow. Oh, man. Uh, oh, like I man. I heard what part of the work. desert too. Like, that's not a fun place, man. I, no. Like, no. Yeah. But be safe over there in your travels, you know, that speed, and make sure you, you, you know, watch us while you're over there. So, yeah. uh, you know. I'll try. You know okay. You got internet on lock over there. I know. It, we'll talk offline about that shitty service that uh, they have out there. But Nelson, uh, uh, 
What's up guys? Uh, I guess I'm another person that had a shitty week. Uh, bad things. I also had a job interview. Went shitty as well because the person wasn't there. But hopefully what this podcast will uh, make it better. Wait, wait, wait. They told you to show up for the job interview? And, and the person was not there. What? Unbelievable. What? Yo, what? we talk we talk offline about that. I, I'll make some phone calls. <laughs> no, we, we need to put him on blast on the podcast right no, now. No, 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 no. We can't do that. We can't no, I'm do just that. playing. I'm just playing. Oh, I'm man. Not, that's, probably, <laughs> that, that's new gaming order uh, DVD uncensored Jerry Springer style stuff. So I was like, what the heck? But all right. So getting started. New gaming order. Audience. Now, I kind of hit the staff uh, with a blind side. Basically, I wanted a raw, unbiased, unfiltered um, prediction for E3 per, you know, major uh, company in terms of gaming. Now, um, we're going to do three segments where we're going to look at, you know, Microsoft predictions, Sony, and Nintendo. So, we're going to start off with Sony right now. And you know, going around the table, and I'll start with the uh, Mizzle, uh, free play mode. You know, what are some things that you think we can expect from Sony's presentation at this year's E3? Well, since they already said that their first party lineup is going to be kind of short, they're going to come out with the one first party game that everybody and their mother has been waiting for for like the past five years now, and that's uh, the Last Guardian. And hmm. they're going to announce it for PlayStation 4. So given that their first party lineup is pretty pretty non-existent this year, that's the lone first party lineup game they're going to announce. They're going to show footage for it. Mm-hmm. And they are going to announce it that is coming out this holiday. And they're going to have a lot of third party stuff. And they're going to try and announce a lot of exclusive third party stuff. And to nobody's surprise, they're going to announce a lot of independent games because PlayStation has been pimping the independent games for like the past two years now for the PlayStation Mm -hmm. 4 Mm -hmm. and this prediction kind of goes with Microsoft and Sony I predict that you are going to see either Microsoft or Sony announce that they have signed Hideo Kojima to run a studio for them that's my prediction mm, i didn't even think about that but i i wouldn't be surprised but i i think also with kojima he might just go indie i mean screw it like he has the fan base in that that will support him he won't have to go and be under a lock and oh. key from a, a d- developer or a I, publisher i know that but like whoever locks up his services it would be a definite game changer for that company Mm, okay, good stuff, good stuff. So, uh, any other predictions before uh, I move on to Shin Hackman? Uh, I do predict Wait, that. <laughs> I do predict that we'll see the uh, the next portable from Sony, which is going to be more than likely the PlayStation Vita three thousand or the PSP three thousand. No. And and Alex oh. Lexus is probably the only one that's no. going to buy it in North America. No, 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 shut up, what? No. Because he's like the lone black person in the entirety of America that has Why a PSP. Why can't be the lone Vita? person? Why I got to be the lone black person? Because, man, I don't know any other black people that have a Vita. <laughs> You're the only one. Unbelievable. What the? Oh, All right. snap. Alex, Alex, likes <laughs> Alex likes $400 people. Dude, he's building his collection, as Chris said, yo. He's building that PSP Vita paperweight collection. <laughs> All right, now, Demizzle lost his turn because of that. Shinwar, what are your, <laughs> what are your thoughts and, or uh, predictions for Sony uh, at E3 this year? Well, we know we're gonna they're going to um, release, well, talk about the consoles with the uh, one terabyte which we already know about but the official quote unquote will, unveiling will be at E3 um some new titles uh, I know they're most likely going to do uh what was that uh Uncharted the remastered version that comes out in October um probably some new stuff and you know what I think Dave's right they may do uh, a new um handheld device hopefully 
Um, honestly, I th and oh. obviously Street Fighter Five, but I think I hope Microsoft pulls out something new, man. I mean, the controller, the new controller with the uh, the headset, eh, whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. The one terabyte, that's cool, but we all know that should have been la at launch. But um, mm -hmm. I, I hope they do something new. Uh, you know that that Kojima, that'd be real crazy. Mm. Um, that news, but come next Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yo, they, something's gonna happen. All right, all right, all well, righty. So, well, wait a sec. E three officially kicks off this Sunday, so is it Sunday? E is this Sunday? Yeah, Sunday, but the Sunday, uh, Sunday. Sony's press conference is Monday. Microsoft is Tuesday. No, but all we right. got a press conference before Microsoft and Sony, though. So Who? Nintendo? No, no, it's a it's a PC developer press conference. Eh, you might you might see uh, some some uh, right. titles, you know, um, pop up there, you know. So yeah. All right, all right. So moving on, on your G's. What what are some predictions you might have for uh, Sony? And their uh, press conference. I believe Sony will bring about the Who background is that? So oh, I, I'm having trouble point. hearing. Hold on. Yeah. Nelson, audio levels. You're say. good. I don't have even my mic on. All right, all right, Chris, you got your mic is go. low. No, okay, no, yeah, fine. I was. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, uh, sorry my, about my that. My joke got ruined. Uh, I really got nothing. Um, Sony's gonna bring, gonna bring about the apocalypse. I'm not quite sure how. Maybe they'll hire they'll, Alex. They'll bring up the apocalypse. No, well, I, I yeah, really got yeah. nothing. I really haven't been following anything, but um, mm -hmm. probably some uh, major first-party title. But like Dave said, it's going to be kind of dry. I don't mm -hmm. think anyone's going to be picking up Kojima because he's still under contract, and most contracts don't allow Kojima. you to negotiate it until the contracts are over. So yeah, that's the end of the year, though. That's like yeah, December. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't expect anything about Kojima to come up. Okay, good, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, NYC Playboy, Mister, uh, put me on steroids. What's going on? What are what? some predictions? Well, can, can, you that, see his timing. Sure, my best for you. I was, I was no, rolling. With it. Go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. All right. I, so I was what looking a, at, I'm looking at the schedule here for E3 this year. And Bethesda has the first, has the opening, has the opening uh, uh, salvo on Sunday. They're probably going to talk about. Um, Fallout 4. Four. And then the PC gaming shows on Tuesday. I'll be paying attention to that, which is June 16th. So, it's, it's going, you might have something from Blizzard, you know, Hearthstone, maybe some, I don't know. Um, Square Enix has something on Tuesday as well. Might be another um, art, JRPG or something coming out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for me, Tuesday is going to be the highlight of, 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 of my E3 experience. Okay. He's okay. All right, so uh, Nelson, uh, what are your your predictions for E3? Um, as far as Sony's concerned. Oh, as far as Sony. Yes. I assume probably a price drop. Um, probably making uh, a dramatic change within Konami because I did hear some rumors about that, but I'll hold on to that. Mm -hmm. And probably endorsing the. Um, the Oculus because they spoke about it earlier yeah. today. That's the only thing I got from Sony because everything else is from multi companies. So okay, okay. Now um, my predictions for Sony uh, this year, you know, obviously, you know, Shinwar uh, and, and one of the staff members have mentioned Uncharted. You're, you're going to see something with that. You know, um, a Thieves' End. I'm I'm pretty sure that's like they're putting all their eggs in that basket to be like hey that's our first party bam you know what here's our uncharted maybe it's god of war you think so i don't think the remastered version at least well, i know the uh, remastered version well, is coming the remastered 3 is coming out that's already confirmed but okay i don't think we're going to see a new god of war from sony and until next year or uh, to, yeah, to even announce it and as a as a, another caveat to uh, the newest Uncharted 4, Naughty Dog said that this is going to be Nathan Drake's last uh, E3 appearance. So take that for what it's worth. This may be the last entry in the Uncharted series because they may be moving on to do The Last of Us 2. Mm, okay, um, but you know, by the title, it's kind of like, damn, we don't want the guys to, the guy to die or anything. But you know. But with that, you know, there's some other titles that were thrown around, like uh, No Man's Sky, Persona 5, 
you know, you had Until Dawn, a couple others. I, I think there's something with uh, Ratchet and Clank that, that was being thrown around. You know, I mean, I'm pretty sure you might see something, something uh, with these titles. And then just overall, like um, Nelson was saying with the Oculus, I believe this E3 across the board is going to be a lot of emphasis now with Sony and Microsoft with HoloLens and all that. You're going to see the Oculus or or Sony's VR um, pop up at this E3. I think that it's going to have that similar effect to um, how remember when we and started doing the virtual stuff, it's going to be OK for the first iteration. And then if they try it again, they're probably going to F it up. Who knows? You know, but. With that being said, um, yeah, the Morpheus. I, I definitely see a big emphasis on the Morpheus, Morpheus. project. Yeah, Dorf. Do- what's it? Unbelievable. But you know, that's what I got for um, predictions. And before we switch uh, gears, I wanted to look at the chat. Gears of War. Oh no no! What, what Gears of War? What you talking about? We're not on Xbox yet. Mm. The same Microsoft yet, brother? <laughs> oh. <Ew. laughs> All right, so with that, I didn't see anything on the, on the chat. So for our um, people checking out live, stick through uh, for the intermission. For our YouTube folks, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Full Screen for taking us under a partnership for the last couple of months. They've been doing nothing but great things for us. I also want to announce that we hit 1,400 subscribers. And, you know... Wow, to me that's a that's a big deal because we are a small uh, production company, and getting to that number that that's that's great. Also, wanted to shout out another YouTuber, um, Art Official Entertainment. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel. That guy is funny as hell. You gotta check out the video where he's ripping on um, Angry Joe. His accent makes him more funny. Like, but you know, I'll, I'll racist. I'll, <laughs> no, he's he's a French, he sounds like a French guy. The European guy ripping on Angry Joe is pretty funny, but make sure you check out his channel. Um, I offered him a spot as being a guest on our show, so he said that that will probably happen in the future. He's taking care of some things, but shout out to you, Art uh, Official. Good stuff. So for our YouTube folks, we'll see you on the next segment. Peace. Okay, hold on. Where's that background noise coming from? That's what I was saying. What background noise? Where's all that background noise? What? <laughs> <laughs> I know I have like things in my background. That's why I mute my mic, and then I nah, put it back I on. Wasn't you. I don't think that was you, Nelson. Mm, ding, 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 ding. I don't know then. Um, what you call it? Takuma keeps hitting me up like fucking crazy, and then Khalif wants to get on too. All right. I mean, we're in intermission. Uh, did you have you have it set up in the way where it it could just adjust? Or so. Well, the thing is, it, it, it can do that, but the thing is, I don't like people messaging me during Skype calls because then it's gonna fuck with the stream. Mm-hmm. So people have to learn how to like start. Texting no, no, right you now. know, what they should do, um, if they're gonna come in during intermissions, do it in the chat, like say, hey, I want to get on. Yeah, but the thing is, they on. do it in the Skype chat, and that fucks with the stream. Yeah, yeah, that, that, we just put like a list of instructions out. So, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't have an issue with it. Right, hold cool. on, just give me a second then. I'm gonna watch them come <laughs> right in here. Hold on, I gotta stretch the screen out. Oh, hold on, what? No, no, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do uh, the next segment is Xbox um, presentation predictions. I and heard then, uh, that. What the heck? Baboomer, you you know you late, sucker. Dude, I was on at about four o'clock. What's up about being late? What? what? You was on at four o'clock. I was on at four o'clock. My uh, time four o'clock. Unbelievable, yo. Unbelievable. Takuma. Yes, unbelievable. Yo, you late to formation, son. Mm. How about like, oh, man? Oh, don't, yes. don't you think about the military joint? Yes, <laughs> <was four o'clock. laughs> Front leader rest position, move in cadence, <laughs> exercise. Ah, oh man. Like on a three count, one, two, three, one, one, one two, three, two. two. <laughs> God, is fucking... Oh man, yeah, I love the director's cut, man. Good <laughs> Yo, they keep trying to get me to come back, man. I got another phone call from them. You know what? That that's an offline uh, conversation. Mm. Are you? Are you in the uh, oh, IRR? No, um, huh? Are you in the IRR, Takuma? Am I on the what? 
the inactive ready reserve. Are you in that? Oh, no, no, no. I'm done with that. I'm just doing all my stuff. Oh, this is They wouldn't want me back. Oh, Saw Dog. They wouldn't want me back. They hate me. No, they oh. keep they keep trying to get me back. They're like, oh, well, we want to get you back. We want to make you an E5, and I'm like, no, nah, dude, because well, I got out. I was a I was a E4 specialist. Go back but in, plus money. I don't want to go back in. <laughs> Do for the value. No. <laughs> I have two options. I'm gonna retire, Sergeant First Class, or or Chief. What's hot? Master Beef. What uh, the uh, heck? Oh, Master, Master, oh, that's, Master right. You, that's right. You guys were in the army. That's right. I was in the army. All right, everyone's here now. He's like Master Geef, yo. Master Geef, shut up. Shut up, Legend of Shut up, Geef. All right, we're up? about to Go. we're about to start now since everyone is present. All right, so now I gotta rememorize the order. All right, so we're we're gonna hit the Xbox predictions and then Nelson, whenever you, we go live, let me know. All right, five, four, three, two, one. What's up, pimp? Smack your ass, bitch. We back like the juggernaut. Alex, oh. Lexus, Nelson, new gaming order staff coming at you we have two uh, 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 two staff members showed up we got to shin takuma and khalif you know um two seconds or, or, or a brief introduction and then we'll get right into the topic so khalif go first hey man um shit, sorry i uh came in a little late uh just recovering from a slight cold but i've uh, been playing a lot of this witcher man i told y'all last time i had just got it hey man i'm, I'm loving it man so I'm, I'm ready to talk some games Oh, it's like that. Uh, what was that? That commercial. Ba 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 ba. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Dang. Yeah. All right. And uh, Shinto Kumo, quick uh, intro, and we'll get. You don't need. He don't need no intro. Everybody knows who he is, man. Everybody knows. <laughs> oh, okay. Shin fine Hohuma. then. Forget you then. Forget you. Mm, all right. Let's go. <laughs> all right. So, new gaming order. Um, segment number two of our E3 predictions. Now, those of you who are just joining us on YouTube. Make sure you backtrack and check out our Sony um, kind of brainstorming and trying to, you know, have some sort of premonition for what Sony will have to offer. So check out that video. And now with Microsoft and now that we have more people, we're going to have to um, make sure we're not going off on tangents because we have to make sure we get everybody's uh, point of view in um, a, a adequate time. But. Microsoft E3 predictions. All right, so um, I just wanted to get everyone's thoughts, and then uh, Nelson and I are kind of, you know, bookend it at the end. So with that, uh, Khalif, what are your thoughts for Microsoft? Uh, and their, you know, what are your predictions as to what you think they're gonna have to offer at E3 to kind of whet our appetites for their product for the rest of the year? Well. Um... I mean, it's kind of hard for me to say in particular what, you know, what I predict here, but I think that we all know that Microsoft is, you know, is a little bit behind the curve right now. So they, so they got to come with, they got to come strong. So mm -hmm. I predict, I predict them to come with, you know, games, of course, more and more games. Um, I, I kind of, I'm kind of predicting that they do another, you know, curveball like what they did with, uh, with Tomb Raider. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe maybe another exclusive that they snatch up. Maybe a, you know that once started out as multi plat you know, going mm -hmm. to exclusive to, to Xbox, you know, just to make another splash. Okay. Um, but whatever it is that they got that they're doing, I'm I'm sure that you know because you know uh, they're they're bigging it up like it's going to be you know the best E3. They always do this every year. Every yeah. company does this every year. But uh -huh. uh, I think they have to like they 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 have to come with it this this year. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I expect some curveballs. I expect some ex exclusivity uh, mm -hmm. type of deals and stuff like that. Um, but I can't really say what 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 in particular. All right, all right. So um, now uh, Takuma, what are your thoughts? What do you think oh, Microsoft on. might um, you know pop the cork on at E3? Other than the champagne? Um, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they got off their sleeve. It better not disappoint. As far as in games, platforms, I don't care if it's software or hardware, whatever it is, don't disappoint us. Because we already know what's going on in the gaming community with everything else and with multi-platform games, exclusive titles, 
it better be something that will please the customers, so to speak. Get us back in good graces. Okay. That's what I was Okay, okay. Well. Yeah, I, I also heard that they, that they don't plan on showing uh, Quantum Break uh, at E3 this year, which that's is a, that's a pretty surprising. That really? Is surprising. I, yeah. I was thinking oh, that. I, I know that it got delayed, but yeah. I'm like, man, at least kind of give us a sign. You know what I mean? We don't want to Duke Nukem and waiting forever and then, you know what I mean? Like From what I understand, they 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 plan on skipping E3 and 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 coming back to it at Gamescom which I, I or can maybe kinda, I, I mean it's to me it doesn't make sense because this is E3 we're talking about like this is oh. when you want to show the game so I mean the yeah. Super Bowl of I, Electronics I, I, wait, Expo wait. oh well I'll, I'll get into it when yeah it's then, 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 Dave it's, it's gonna be your up? turn next it's gonna be oh your... it is my turn okay mm-hmm. well to 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 caveat to that Quantum Break. They're, I see them showing it at Game Cons because they said it's going to be a title that's going to slip into 2016, and Games Con is in a winter, so that means they'll be able to show a more developed version of the game okay. rather than good, showing good. it as is. But I can tell you that Microsoft is going to come with Forza 6 because screenshots have already leaked, and oh, they're yeah. promising 450 plus cars out of the gate, pro- promising. Change, promising dynamic mm. weather so you're going to be able to race in the rain sunshine mm. night and the snow uh what else are they promising they're promise i can see them going crackdown three because we saw that being debuted last year i think mm-hmm. we're going to see season three of killer instinct because season two just concluded and i can tell you season two of it killer instinct <laughs> whatever man <laughs> <laughs> it, it, right, got, go it, it got it got suited and booted, son. But nah. <laughs> All right. But, but uh, season two just concluded of Killer Instinct, so I, and it did really really well. So I think we're gonna see an announcement for season three. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Uh, I think we're gonna see like a major third party exclusive as well as some major first party exclusives, as uh. Phil, uh, the head of Xbox, said he said that this E3 is going to focus very heavily on first-party titles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see a lot of first-party titles, both in AAA games as well as Xbox Live Arcade games. And I think we're going to see like how they're going to explain how the Windows 10 integration is going to work with the Xbox One. There you go. I, I was gonna, you know, say that at the end, but I don't, pretty much, Demisel, it's, it's taking my thunder. Uh, <laughs> but good I don't, stuff. Keep going. Mm-hmm. I don't think we're gonna see uh, Microsoft's headset because that's not gonna be a mic. That's not gonna be an Xbox One thing. That's gonna be a computer thing for Windows 10. Because- you know what? I, can I jump in on that? I disagree. I believe. Oh. I believe you're gonna see the Hololens popping up with. You know, Forza Six support and uh, what was that? Uh, Halo Five. There was there was rumors saying that Halo Five may be supporting or have some sort of long term support for the the Halo Lens. So imagine being able to actually be inside Halo. You know what I mean? Looking I around know. and I mean, it does, I mean it's it does, a rumor. It's a rumor, but see, I'm sure sure you know what I'm talking about. I don't see it because the HoloLens doesn't strike me as a gaming device. It doesn't strike me like uh, an Oculus Rift or a Project Morpheus. Those two VR devices are specifically built for gaming in mind. I don't see that from Microsoft's HoloLens. HoloLens has more of a practical use thing, okay? Like a like a Windows application type use. So that's where I see that headed in that direction. It's going to have its own games, but it's not going to be connected directly to the Xbox One. No, obviously See, not. I, 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 I guess I, what you're saying with that. I, but. I think I think the same thing, man. Like with, with, with HoloLens, like it's it's not like a, a game in peripheral. But here's the thing with with Morpheus coming out and Oculus coming out. I feel like Microsoft, you know, kind of has to do something. That no, I, I'm pretty sure they I, have something in store. I, I disagree because um. Hmm. Microsoft has officially supported the Oculus Rift because the Oculus Rift is going to come with an Xbox One controller, so they're going to be... There's no need for Microsoft to come out with their own VR headset, mm-hmm. so to speak. <laughs> okay, that, that should be interesting, but for the, for, for time's sake, we're going to give Shinwar the floor. 
Um, Shin Jackman, what are your thoughts yes. and pred- predictions for Microsoft E3 uh, presentation? Um, okay, skip okay. me real quick. No money. All right, we'll come back to Shin Jackman. On your knees, any predictions? I know you don't have the system. Uh, he took Dave. his quarter off the counter. <laughs> Oh, that's messed up. He went arcade style on him. All right, good stuff. Oh, no, uh, Dave already mentioned one with the, uh, shit. Uh, what, the Oculus? Uh, Xbox, the no, uh, Windows 10 integration. Okay. You're going to see some of that. I think you're probably, you might also see the Windows Store that they want to integrate into Windows 10, kind of like uh, Apple has the App Store. Okay. You might see some of that. They might save that for some other trade show, but I expect to see something on that soon. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, they want to make their money, too, on that. Uh, but other than that, I don't really really see anything uh, them announcing anything unless they probably they probably do have some type of first or third party exclusive something other than Halo Five. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, NYC Playboy, what what you got for us? What what are your thoughts and um, predictions for E3 in terms of uh, Microsoft? Um, I. No, I'm not. I'm, I don't follow Microsoft that well. I'm, I'm interested in the Windows 10 integration and okay. also the Instinct Season Three. But that's mm-hmm. just about it. Okay. Now I know um, it was mentioned that Microsoft might pull a swerve. What if there's a Killer Instinct PC version that pops up? Hmm. Oh, that, that, yes. That, that would... <laughs> yeah, because the PC <laughs> folks are like salivating for it and like, oh, I want that game, but you know. It's what it is. And a lot of the PlayStation guys that don't want to pick up an Xbox One will m- more than likely support it on the PC. So that, I think, you know, sharing is caring and the, the game will reach a broader audience. And then just say, hey, you know, only Microsoft can only see good things out of it. So we'll see. Nelson, close the loop. What, what you got for us? Oh, you got to come back to me. What do you mean close the loop? Gotta come what back to me. Playing Street Fighter, you losing, dog. Just put the yeah, you multi- I mean, yeah, Shinwa has to go first. Now nah, go, go ahead, Nelson. Go ahead. Um, as of Microsoft, my prediction is just give me Phantom Dust. Don't don't bullshit me with that. Mm-hmm. I already heard that there's not a rumor, but they are gonna show the the next uh, Xbox One update with the integration Ooh. of Windows 10 because yeah. they already spoke of it. Uh, Larry Herb um, mentioned it on his Twitter. So that's guaranteed Larry happening. Um, also with Microsoft, let's see. Hmm. They're already <sighs> going to show the Halo 5. That's already been announced. They're probably also going to maybe show... um. the oh, fuck is that game, man? It's, like, it's not coming into mind right now. Brain fart. It's it's, it's, it's an exclusive title. That's all I know. They're gonna mm. show they're gonna show an exclusive title that they've been um, secretly hiding from us. Mm-hmm. Is it hiding or RPG or what? I don't know. That I can't really say. I just know like the ah. company is very well known. That's all I. That's all I got for that. Um, lastly, they're gonna show things about the um, the new terabyte. I don't know why they would, but they are also with the new controller. They're gonna show that, which is not really new. Yeah, yeah. Really I don't new, think they. Yeah, I don't think they. Though. I don't think they'll waste time on it because they already released. How much the, you want to bet that they will? How they much did you, a, just just to endorse the product? That's what they did last year, to, to yeah. endorse all their connect bullshit. Well, that, yeah, he does, he does have a point. Trust me, Microsoft is known to doing that. I, I can tell you that right off the bat. Um, we're probably gonna see. Fuck, man. I really got a brain fart right now. I can't even think of this game. All right, so let me go to Shinwar. Yeah, then. yeah. I, yeah. Back. yeah. Um, what, are, what are your predictions for Microsoft's E3 Xbox? Um, I believe they're going to have a strong showing. Uh, they even show stuff with Oculus Rift and uh, the Xbox One controller. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think every you know what everybody said about Windows 10 integration, that's going to really be their selling point because they're... You know, I believe Windows 10 drops July, what, the end of July, right? 20, July 3rd or the 29th. Yeah, yeah, so that's going to... And yeah, it's so free! That, you know, yeah, <laughs> and it, that's going to be their selling point. Try to push that and, you know, push more consoles so you can integrate both. Uh, game-wise, I, I think, like uh, Demizzle said, KI Season 3, that'd be great. Uh, drop a little that teaser with cool. that. Um, I'm still saddened about that Quantum Break. Um... Uh, you know that not the getting shown. Chains. What? Um, oh, uh, Forza okay. Six. Um, what, what else? Wow. What happened? 
right, okay. go ahead. Yeah, four to six. Um, I hope you know. I want some more Xbox Live Arcade games. That's I think that's one thing they're definitely lacking. Mm-hmm. Um, they, they need to bring that up. But outside of that, that that's I think that's that's it. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, be cool. Now, um, just to conclude, I think um, we're definitely gonna see some in-depth Halo Five Guardian. Content. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see something that's gonna be like <clears throat> a little cliffhanger that's gonna make you want that game. You know, you're gonna see something from Locke's perspective. Um, you know, we're gonna f- hopefully we find out what he looks like because rumors or uh, people are thinking that Locke was the person interrogating, you know, Cortana's creator and the you know developer of uh, the Spartan program. And it's like, okay, you know, the guy who's like, oh. Um, Master Chief is broken, blah blah blah. I'm thinking that might be Locke, but you know, it, it's it's we're gonna see like story teasers that's gonna make you want that game, right? Uh, obviously, you're gonna see Rise of the Tomb Raider. That that's a given, you know, because uh, I Microsoft, forgot about that game. Yeah, they they really need to show something with that. And and Tomb Raider, I was playing it on the the PC. Man, that game is great, phenomenal game. I have to say that was awesome. Like Demizel was saying earlier, you're gonna see four to six. That that's without question. Mm-hmm. Um, I will will say uh, the coalition will definitely be showing Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and oh, or another Gears of War that uh, you know maybe worked around with the Xbox One architecture. So that that's something that I think is gonna pop up. Mm-hmm. Nelson had mentioned Crackdown. You know, and Demizel. Um, yeah, um, Crackdown. Crackdown will not be shown at E3 this year, guys. You think so? They just confirmed oh. it. Ah, oh, bastards. Balls. Damn it. All right. There's been so, a lot of other things confirmed, but so, I think you want so, me to hold so that. So, Crackdown and Quantum Break, you know, they popped the bubble on that one. But, I mean, th- that's oh. what I was hoping for. Do you uh, want I'm, me to mention the other game that they just announced? Well, well I, I was think I was thinking like maybe Fable Legends. No, they're um they're re-releasing Dark Siders for the next gen. Oh yeah, I did I did hear about that. Yeah, Dark Siders like, one and two. What? Are they remastering it or they're like? It might be a remaster. If you got the yeah, PC version, that. like you, I don't know. That I, was I a got... long game, yo. That was a good game, but it was long. Yeah, the first Dark Siders was great. War and all that. that, that I need three, yo. Give me part three. You know, you know, you know, with, with with them not showing some of these games, I'm kind of not mad about it because one thing that I'm, I'm I am tired of seeing, but I know that we are gonna see, is games getting released, get games getting shown too early. Yeah, um, they, you, they like did that, that with thing. Crackdown. Yeah, they did that with Crackdown. They did that with Quantum Break. And I mean, it, I'm I'm so sick of and tired of seeing it, and I kind of know why it happens. Uh, you know, because you know they try to push these games back to, to avoid these other blockbusters. But I, I would like to see. That's why I think that uh, Fallout is going to end up releasing this year because I think that you know they got the you know they they, they got the head in the right place where they show the game you know in right before it's ready and and I think it's going to be released this year. Ah, okay, good stuff, good stuff. And then lastly, uh, uh, to to close my loop. Like it, we're gonna see something extensive of Hololens because they already have a pra- practically working, you know, uh, concept. You know, so I, I'm curious to see as uh, how it's going to be integrated. You know, that versus Oculus Rift and Microsoft supporting that. You know, I hope it doesn't cannibalize one another because I know one is going to be more game tailored, and then you have the other ones for. You know, um, the HoloLens is just for practical stuff. So uh, that remains to be seen. But that um, concludes my portion. Anybody else want to jump in, uh, like with uh, like a two-second thing before we conclude the segment? Yeah, I, I I I agree with the uh, with the showing of the games too early. The next thing you know, oh, it's been delayed a year. Can someone say order? Just saying. Oh wow! <laughs> Put them on blast. All right. So with that new gaming order, we're gonna bring this uh, topic to an end. Uh, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Full Screen, our um, our partner, and helping us get to another milestone with our subscribership. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on newgamingorder.com. Check out our pre- previous segment and check out our next segment. And with that, we'll see you like the juggernaut bitch on the next segment. Peace. Q.
you okay yeah there's a lot of stuff here that was just mentioned on um the e3 but, show floor but i guess i'll leave some of that for the psas because there's a mm -hmm. lot yeah, I okay, just, I mean, yeah. now, Nelson, if you want, you can just lead this segment now, and then, you know, you bring up some of that. I mean, just, just, you know, steer the wheel on, on, on this segment. Which uh, topics still, have we done so far? I, I'm, I missed some of those. It's just E3 up. stuff, that's mainly it. Yeah. You still gotta do Nintendo. Yeah, well, I mean, Nelson, do you wanna do, let me do Nintendo, and then you can do the uh, residual stuff? Um, yeah, you could do the Nintendo. Alright. So, right uh, now, Nintendo just has a lot of remasters. Oh, yeah, 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 and... yeah, I mean. Star Fox. Nick okay, Zelda's well, one. let's get it live then. All right, the, so, all right, let's get it. All right give me a second then. Okay, oh. go ahead. We're back, we're back, Mitches and Mitchettes. Freeze, mother bitches. Dragonite bitch coming back. Come at on. You. So, <laughs> um, this is our, I guess... <laughs> final segment in terms of individual companies gaming wise and we're touching on Nintendo now the only reason why I'm treading lightly because I am still on my position with the semi Nintendo boycott that Nintendo uh, well, Nelson and I have imposed on the channel because of their practices but being that is you know e3 I'm gonna kind of you know hover over it but not giving too much uh you know coverage to them but you gotta watch out man if we speak about nintendo they might come for your money <laughs> yeah you know they, they like yeah they, they're gonna be like what you got in your crib type stuff but they're going um, debo you like what you got on my 40 uh oh i'm ruining the <laughs> podcast to put a nintendo product on the screen uh, it's no. okay. but <laughs> nintendo e3 predictions and uh i'm gonna start with Demizzle from uh, Free Play Mode. What are your predictions for Nintendo well, this year? Nintendo has to come really, really high, like because their console has is it's not all but so, dead. It's like how can I put this nicely? They're being outsold by a dead console that has been dead for about fifteen years now. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they haven't sold more consoles than the Sega Dreamcast. That's how mm. bad they're doing. Mm. So, wow. Dreamcast was a shit. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, Nintendo needs to come really, really high. And I think what we're going to see from Nintendo is we're going to see some gameplay footage of the new Zelda, but that's been pushed back to 2016 because I think that they're pushing it back so they can release it on the Nintendo NX like they did with Twilight Princess with the GameCube and Nintendo Wii release. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're going to see footage, but it's going to be... They already said that they pushed it back to 2016. Mm -hmm. I also think we're going to see, like, yet another Mario game we're going to see. Oh, that's a given. Of course, man. Like, new Mario games are, uh... are as predictable as a dude coming. That's, that's nothing new. <laughs> what the <laughs> What? Uh, it, what? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Hold on, hold on. He knows all about that, doesn't he? Unbelievable. Hey, you know what? We needed that. We needed that. That that's. But ah, uh, you needed that. I didn't need. <laughs> no, that. I mean in terms of a joke, like well, Alex well, gets it on but, a nightly basis, so he's used but, to it. But but that's Nintendo in a nutshell. It's like, oh Mario, oh uh, uh, Mario, oh Mario. Mario. Unbelievable. <laughs> but it's, uh, but, it's, uh, but that's what Nintendo does. We're going to see like a lot of first party games. We're going to get excuses why they don't have third party games as usual. We're going to get Reggie Fills and me doing something stupid and pimping a first party game. We're going to get uh, the head of Nintendo, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, talking in broken English about how good Nintendo is. This, we're going to see the same typical Nintendo stuff. I don't... Okay. I don't think we're going to see anything special from Nintendo. <laughs> now, uh, for this topic, I'm going to my Nintendo experts, and then once they're done, then anybody that wants to chime in. This way, I'm not like putting anyone on the the spot that just don't follow Nintendo like that. But I'm going to give on your knees the floor, what? and you know, I want to know wh what are your predictions for Nintendo since I know. You are, you, you know, of the group, you're, you're the, you and Goku 86 once he gets into his apartment, he'll be back on the podcast, but, um, 
you know, what, what, I mean, you really back Nintendo hell. Like, you got me into, you know, kind of back into the full when we used to play when you were in town. You know what I mean? So, I mean, what, what, what do you think Nintendo has to give? I mean, considering I that... I got nothing to give. That's the problem. Um, hey. They're surviving solely on first-party games, which is not how you move consoles. Um, I'm surprised see... they've been around this long on just first-party well, support. Well, the, the Wii killed. That's why. The Wii sold a shit ton of units, even though... Because it was different. It sold a shit ton of units because it was different and was cheap. It, they sold to a lot of non-gamers. That's how they made it buy. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see... You'll probably see some stuff from the English release of X2, which is out. Uh, I haven't been following that lately, but I think it's still out in the fall. The, it's already out in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Splatoon's already out. They were pushing that game kind of big, but other than that... I know they aware. messed up with uh, Splatoon with, um, you know, I think they took out the voice chat because of, oh, we don't want anybody being harassed like that well, dude talking about, uh, like, um, trolling that kid who said he was Chinese and he's like, let me do your... You, you well, know what I'm talking about. This, this, is pro this is possibly the one time I'm going to stick up for Nintendo and that they actually did something right. Welcome. Splatoon is actually a very good game for what it is. I like to play it, even though I don't own a Nintendo Wii. A couple of my my friends own Wii U's, and I've played uh, Splatoon on it, and it's a very fun game. It's not up it to would have been better with voice support, though. It really doesn't need it once you play it. Okay, okay, but it kind of you know, like the Xbox guys, the PlayStation guys, PC guys. It, that's standard for those types of games. See, right. but but for for PlayStation Four and Xbox One shooters, you kind of need voice support. To because and yeah, to communicate, but you don't need that with the Wii U because Splatoon uses the second screen on the pad in a way that you can coordinate on the pad with your teammates and see what your teammates are doing. So you really don't need that much voice contact with your teammates because you can mm -hmm. see what they're doing already. So it's a big deal. It, it was made a big deal, but it's actually nothing in practice. All right, get all this dust to push it off my Wii U thing. I haven't used it in that long. Um, hey man. I still use mine. Dang. But yeah, it's um, I'm, the mo the thing I'm looking most forward to is seeing some uh, seeing English voice work for uh, X2, which I'm hoping they have some sample of it uh, for the uh, for E3, because that's the reason I bought the console was just for that one game. Mm. I still, well, I yeah, still you're, you're part of the few that uh, yeah. would get a console for one game. I mean, hell. Well, I I figured to be other games. I figured to be a Zelda, a Metroid, maybe, which I don't think is gonna happen on this console. Yeah, that's a maybe prediction or, for me. I, I'm pretty sure. Or like, next oh, they'll, they'll yeah, give it ahead. the the team. Oh, was it N Team Ninja again? Which did that uh, was nowhere near as good as the a other ones. Another M. Yeah, that one was lame. It's just like really now. Hey, you know what they had? You know, Team Ninja. You know, considering that people are like, "Oh, these are the guys that did Ninja Gaiden." Oh, this is gonna be freaking awesome! And then look what happened. I was, I was honestly surprised when, it, when there wasn't more titties in that game. Unbelievable. Well, oh, hey, it was Nintendo they were working with. The Nintendo with censored the hell out of it. But with that, like, um, for the sake of time, uh, Nelson, any predictions for Nintendo for this year's E3? Uh, Nintendo is just gonna release the same old shit, so there's really no predictions to be made, to be honest with you. We already got Mario last time. We already got Zelda last time. They didn't mm -hmm. release Metroid. They didn't release Star Fox. The next Star Fox is coming out. Okay, but I don't give a shit about Star Fox no more. Nor do I give a shit about Metroid. Nor do I give a shit about Nintendo, period. How you gonna diss Metroid, homie? My feelings are oh, right now. Yeah. I don't give a shit because one is the same thing. Like, I played it too many times. It, it can't... Alright, look, 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 look. look. I'll put it like this. Look. No, I was just about to mention that. I was just about to mention it. <laughs> they came out with more re-releases of titles than fucking Capcom has ever released Street Fighter. That shit really? is annoying, like, dude. Oh, that shit is really? annoying, dude. How many versions of two and alpha and three and four were there? Come yeah, on, there's, there's at least four versions of each one. Don't give me that. Okay, but, hey. so then how many? How, so how many goddamn Mario games did they goddamn re-release? No, okay. uh, 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 Mario's Mario. different. I'm talking about Metroid. You said Metroid first. Well, I'm talking about Nintendo in general. Beep, beep, I'm talking about beep. Nintendo in general. <laughs> oh man, the panel just so crazy so. I, I I will say this. The only thing I want to know and I am curious about is their new NX console. That's it. I just yeah. want to know what no, the fuck it is. but you know is, what? Here's the thing. They, they can't show anything on NX right now because it, for the games that are still in development for Wii U, right? And they're, the things that they're trying to hope to sell, Mario Maker, Yoshi's, um, Yoshi's World or whatever, uh, yeah. Xenoblade Chronicle X, I mean, Star Fox. I mean, the little that they have 
they 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 don't want to unless they go ahead and say hey you know see saw all this it, hopefully it's not so far in development that they can't turn back to port it to the nx you know what i mean but it's just like man coming right I, I i i doubt that you know if, they, if nintendo is stupid enough to show the nx at e3 or their um we channel or nintendo direct that pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for the Wii U. That's it. I don't think they're going to announce anything at NX until it's almost done. Mm. Okay. I, I think that's what they're going to do. I think they're a lot further along than we're led to believe. But yeah, I, and, don't be and fooled. If there's, re if there's reverse compatibility, that, that point is no longer an issue. Because ah, okay. you can just boot those games. Because oh, ever be Nintendo has always been good with that. You know what yeah, I mean? ever, since, uh, ever since the GameCube. All, all, they've always been that way. That's the one thing with Nintendo I'm oh. envious of. They, they consistently keep that catalog of their games accessible regardless of what system you're playing. Yeah, the reason why they do that because they know their future consoles suck. So they always try to bring back the old fan base with their old games. <laughs> um, Fucking Nintendo. Stupid practices. What? Well, damn. <laughs> Tell well, me how you really feel. Just Nintendo going the way of Sega. I, I, I just, I can't. Just, yeah, I'm, yeah, NX, JX, QX, DX, I don't give a fuck. Ah, PX? What the heck? From, from, you mean the PX just... by the defect? Unbelievable. Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I, I can't do, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. Nintendo, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just, you know, I. I'm just not into you no more, Nintendo. I'm sorry. Hi. Nintendo is all about Animal Crossing, Fire Emblem, Pokemon, what? all that. It's just well, see, their mobile market as like their handheld. That's fine. I don't, I don't care what they do with that because they're they're like destroying the market when it comes to that. Okay. And you know what? My sister has a DS. She don't even play it. She plays the Street Fighter. Uh, she has Street a PS One. What? That was mad left field. Oh, <laughs> yeah, how we go from Nintendo to PS? I don't know the DS. She, she has Street Fighter, a but Super Street Fighter, so for it, and she barely plays it. You know, like I don't know, man. And Nintendo just lost its its it, their focus yeah. ha has changed, and their original fan base, like you know, people like myself, Hackman, you know, most of us have. have I said. Oh, Shin Pac-Man? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that's a new one. Ah, he did that live, too. So, but, yeah, Nintendo yeah. has to really do something for me in order for me to be like, Oh, that's actually cool. But you guys are very scared of taking third-party companies because you're afraid that your franchise or whatever will just fucking crumble. Actually, I disagree. I think, Nelson, the problem was, and Mercury Steam even put Nintendo on blast, Nintendo refuses to make a console for the companies to see their vision. They're always underpowered. They're, they're never putting out something where they can just, oh, and that's why Lords of Shadow didn't come out on the Wii, Wii U. You know what I mean? Because, you know, David uh, David Cox, haha, you know, I know the jokes are coming. Um, what? The representative. Cox cable, Alex. That's and and you say. know what? And, and on your knees looks like that, that guy. If, if you look up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David Cox. Alex, why are you gonna be racist like that, thinking all white people look alike? No, no, I swear, man. <laughs> I just you're like, you're no. a fucking racist. He, 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 he said, he said that if if the Wii U had a little more power, that'd be one thing. And plus, they had issues with, you know, uh, their resources. It's like, man, we gotta make the the little touch screen work and do this and that. And it was funny. You had Mirror of Fate. That was on the DS uh, exclusive, and then you saw how it flipped around, and uh, you had the HD version because yeah. they couldn't solely make their money back off of that platform alone. Arc Systems is finding out what Guilty Gear X are and how shitty it sold on the PlayStation 4, being that it's a small market for Guilty Gear. And then you keep it exclusive to one, at least expand it out, you know. And but Mercury the thing Steam is, it's smart. not, it's not gonna do any justice, even if it did get expanded. The community for Blaze Blue, or I should say, anime games, is not gonna be as big. Period. Like, no, I get it, I, I get it, but it wouldn't have been as bad, you know what I mean? It's yeah, but it, it again, it. No, it's what, I, you know. This is me looking out for those companies. Hey, it's whatever. I mean, if they want to shoot themselves in the fucking foot and not make money, they hate money. Go fuck you. That's it. Who gives a <laughs> shit? I, I guess all you companies, just like Nintendo, who fucking hates money and doesn't want to bring on like you know Activision, Ubisoft, and all those other good companies to get them like instant money. Well, well I guess you, whatever Nintendo, go fuck yourself because you hate money. Damn. Okay. See, I'm gonna chime in right quick. The problem with Nintendo is that the same people are in charge 
now from the 80s yeah from when they first got into the video gaming industry in the 1970s they're still using the same 1985 no they got into the gaming industry in the mid 70s they actually had a pong machine so yeah because they were doing card games before oh. and then they, they switched over to uh digital entertainment and so. yeah they came with the the game and watch stuff and then they came with the nintendo entertainment system well the famicom in 1983 mm -hmm. but yeah. um that's the problem like the same people that are in charge now are the same people that are in charge then and they don't recognize what the market is they still think that our generation that grew up with nintendo the the people that are playing video games now are of the same mindset the difference between us as kids and kids today is that we grew up and we are essentially the first generation to grow up in the technological age so we didn't have anything to compare it to like everything that came out was essentially oh this is great this is excellent like we were easily wowed by stuff because we were the first generation to grow up in technology but kids today they're not easily impressed by things like they yeah, this see, is true like kids today are like like oh kids today have iPhones and Galaxy S whatever is out now and iPads and Nintendo just doesn't see that they don't pay attention to the market like today's kids are playing the same games as today's adults damn mm. hippies also also, oh also <clears throat> Nintendo does not embrace technology yeah they got little gimmicky stuff second screens well, on fucking well I, I disagree with that because no, it, it wasn't no, up no, in, no, 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 it wasn't no, up until recently that Alex, they didn't embrace Alex technology said early, Alex said earlier that if they if they could have had a little bit more power, use their resources more because they're focusing on touch screens, blah blah blah. We 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 had touch screen phones for over ten years now. What the fuck? Yeah, Come man. on now. <laughs> and not only that, not only that, the Nintendo got crapped on with uh, freaking uh, what was that? The uh, uh, freaking glass because smart glass does the same thing that the touch screen does. You know I, I, mean? dis I disagree that Nintendo okay. hasn't always embraced the technology. This is a recent phenomenon because if you go back, all of Nintendo's consoles were up until the GameCube the most powerful console on the market. That is true. Nintendo the SNES. Was, was, Nintendo was, was the most powerful. SNES was the most powerful. Nintendo 64 was more powerful than the PlayStation One and the Saturn. <sighs> and then you had the GameCube more. It didn't look it though. It did not look it. The hardware was more powerful, but. Because it was cartridge, it couldn't get. Uh, the, yeah, it didn't have such. Uh, you could, you didn't have the storage to uh, take advantage of it. Yeah, uh -huh. like, but the hardware itself was more powerful than the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation One, and the GameCube was more powerful than the PlayStation Two and the original Xbox. The so, GameCube? but that, wasn't that like kind of later? No, that that's when it started. That's no, when it started. They were. It, it was a little underpowered. The play of the PS. No, it it was more powerful than the PlayStation Two. Like if you go back and read the specs line for line, it was more powerful than the PlayStation Two. But then after the GameCube, they realized that they needed to make some money. And because the Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo sixty four didn't do too well worldwide, and that's when they started with the underpowered console trend with the Nintendo Wii. Mm. And then you see now. When you look at it, it's like, man, you know, if E3 existed during the Super Nintendo era, Genesis era, and all that, you know, Nintendo would be sky high right now, you know, but it's uh, times have changed, and Nintendo has to change, and the, the, the lack of, of uh, presentation for E3 kind of worries me because, you know, Playboy said it best, they're probably going to go to route of Sega eventually. Bring you back know the Nintendo. funny thing about Nintendo is that they have they 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 got the IP they got the characters they got the legacy to to overtake PlayStation and Xbox. I mean they they have it there they just won't do it. I mean I don't know why. I, they're, I kinda, they're trying to distinguish themselves. And, and the, I respect that. The, I was getting ready yeah. to say that. I, I, and I kind of respect that. The the way that they go about their first parties. In the way that they've they've gone, I mean, I don't agree with the way that they've handled the Wii U and all that stuff. But the way that they go about their first party franchises is is, is pretty uh, is pretty good because they don't get saturated. They, I mean, of course, they do the same Mario's over, you know, not the same, uh, but they they have that Mario train and keep playing it. But it, it's it's something that you don't see from any other company uh, at all. 
So, I mean, if just imagine if they were to like really buckle down and do this mobile thing. Like, I think they are going to show. I think they are going to show some mobile stuff uh, at, at E3. Um, just imagine seeing some like Pokemon red and blue. If they if, if they just did Pokemon yellow or red or something on iPhones and, and Android, you know how much money they would make from that. Like, and they 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 choose not to do it. Mm. So, I mean, it's it, it, I think Nintendo. Like you know, they they are the wild card, and I respect that. I, I, I'm not I'm not mad at them. Well, just um, all right, but for the sake of time, we gotta start closing this one up. Yeah. But yeah, final points before we uh, get ready for the next segment. Yeah, they did make that mobile deal, so I would expect them to have some mobile offerings to show, and given enough time, they'll they'll do Pokemon on iPhone and Android, and they'll be you know buy this one for a dollar, buy this one for fifty cents. I can't wait so, for that. <laughs> That'd be great. Well, uh, just to burst your That'd bubble, be... they're not showing no Nintendo mobile games at E3. Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> well, I told you that. that. Damn, Alex shit. Fuck. Fuck, man. Damn. Yeah, Alex just had to bite the guts <laughs> with the knife. Like, X-ray moves. <laughs> it's all good. All right, so Nelson, uh, you can close up this segment. Um, I gotta look at this phone real quick, but uh, I'll go. go. All right. You got this, man. All right, guys. Um, that's the end of this segment here. We're gonna close this one out, and we're gonna move on to the next one. If you guys haven't done it already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, all of our social media. Uh, go to newgamingorder.com to get the latest information feed about podcasting and topics that we do. For you live uh, people, please stay on. We're not going anywhere. And for you YouTube folks, we're out. And I'm not saying Alex's quote because that's his. It's not even it, his. Because it stolen. sucks. Yeah. <laughs> hey, watch him out. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so new game in order. We'll see you guys in the next segment. Peace. Wow, I, I kind of like ended the YouTube portion. But oh, yeah. that's uh, 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 uh. Hey, we leave it for the director's cut. Yeah, but th this is a highly unusual circumstance. I have to leave the podcast tonight. I got to take care of something. Uh, so, Nelson, you, you got this, uh, you know... I, I, I gotta take care of this thing. Remember I was telling you about that car situation? Yeah. I gotta handle that. So, um, yeah, I apologize. To, you know, those who are watching live for the director's cut, I have to hold out at this point. Um, so, Nelson, you demand. And I was, I'll talk to you guys later on, all right? All right, bro. All right, then. All right, man. All right, so the next topic, either you guys can pick um, the thing that's been happening with the uh, recent thing with Capcom over in the UK. Or, What's that? Well, I mean, Street they've been Fighter showing five. Street Fighter Five and a bunch oh, of other shit. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. We yeah, can, seen we can that. talk about Street We can Fighter either five. talk about that or we can talk about the latest um, uh, yes and no's of uh, E3 that's going to appear and, like, what have they announced. It's either one. Street Fighter Five. Street Fighter Five. I'm still pissed off about that shit. All right, so I'm not impressed by it, not at all. All right, hold on. Let me. I know um... about the new mechanics, cause. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me start it, and then we'll talk about that. Hold your points. <laughs> all right, guys, what's going on? This is uh, Mugen. Apparently, um, Alex had to go due to uh, personal reasons. He's so... picking up hookers, so don't worry about it, people. Yeah, that's his. Uh, that, no, that's his no, he's good. not picking up hookers. He's killing hookers. That's what he. <laughs> oh, we can't stop, advertise stop, that. Chill, <laughs> chill. We can't advertise that. But anyways, um, the, A new the, gaming order hookup pick cleanup service coming soon. Not nah, chill, chill. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This ain't John Wick, yo. Chill. <laughs> Anywho, the next topic that we're gonna go into is what happened recently in uh, the UK presentation of uh, the Capcom showing off uh, Street Fighter V. Apparently, there's been a lot of um, information, trailers, live gameplay of the game. So I will go last because um, I haven't really seen much of it. So I will technically start off with Shinwar since uh, he might know more about this. So Shinwar, uh, lead the the rest of the topic. Well, uh, actually, we were thinking that uh, there was going to be a lot of information. Yo, Dave, Dave, Dave. Dave What's Dave, up? Oh got the sound. God. Got the sound. It's loud. There you go. What's up? Not your sound. Whatever, really whatever it was, vacuuming or something. All right. So I'm good now. Yeah, you're good. Oh my God. Okay. You're good. Right. So I thought. Um, 
come next week at E3, and they're still going to unveil some more stuff. But Capcom has released some Street Fighter V news and information a week early uh, as opposed to next week. So uh, they showed some of the new uh, gameplay mechanics, V-Trigger, V-Reversal, uh, and the V-Gauge. Uh, they did some tweaking and they showed a new stage, which is London, but they made it seem like this is the first time a London stage has been in Street Fighter. But if I'm not mistaken, uh, they have previously done a London stage in the previous games. But Yes, a, a character yeah. that tagline, tagline was, let us fight like gentlemen had a London stage. <laughs> right, and so, but they made, yeah, they made it seem like it was the first time, and I'm like, okay, whatever. But um, they showed more of Bison. They, they specifically said that he is slow, but once you activate his V trigger, he uh, he speeds up. Yeah, so like there's teleports a lot of, and shit like that. Right. There's a, a lot of different attributes. So it, it, they, they gave it like an RPG element to, to the character. So like reuse V trigger is he can parry. Chun-Li gets like a multi-hit attack uh, on her attacks. Um, Charlie can absorb projectiles and it adds to his V trigger as well and bison can absorb projectiles and physical attacks um and throw it back in the form of a projectile so i'm, I'm hyped for it um and I'm, i can't wait to see more at e3 and i believe at e3 they're going to re uh, reveal at least one new character which it's they so said okay. which they said that uh, we haven't seen in a while so speculation has been oro uh and alex so far but we'll see that's my take on it Dude, I gotta jump in on this because yeah. have... I'm going next. Man. All right. Um, I'm not impressed by Street Fighter V. I really am not. They were like, "Oh, these are new gameplay mechanics." I'm like, "Come on, we've seen these gameplay mechanics before in other Street Fighter games, like the V Trigger. That's just gems from Tekken Cross Street Fighter. You got what? And then they." like added individual elements like oh ryu has the parry we got street fighter 3 going on here they're like oh you got the the v trigger counter it's nothing but an alpha counter that is an alpha counter yeah i'm like come on but we now. haven't had, but not... we haven't had that in a while though like since actually since alpha we haven't had that since alpha but they though. they telling these like their their new gameplay mechanics when they're just old gameplay mechanics from older street fighter no, games no, i, I agree this... but it's probably new for for whoever's coming in that's probably never right played like what like what, what are we they, like what? Ooh, new gameplay play mechanics for oh niners yeah exactly like come on now yeah. they ain't fooling nobody anybody I'm... who's played street fighter prior to 2009 has seen these gameplay mechanics before in some incarnation of Street Fighter. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm and, and then they, and then they pimped the, the the new critical arts. Those are just the ultra combos renamed with, with more cinematics. They're not showing nothing new here. So so why are they trying to pull the the wool over our eyes like we're stupid? You gotta understand that they're catering to to casual people that still don't know much about you know what the I Street Fighter Four games. Fuck the O like Niners, that. straight out. Fuck you oh. all. I don't care how good you are. Fuck you all. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 That's how you really feel. Yeah. Up, man. Uh. All right, um, Takuma, you go ahead. Ah, uh, let me say this. I seen the trailers. I read the rants. I read the reviews. I am kind of happy with a few things. One. Focus attack dash cancel, that's gone. Why? Because now it evens the playing field for people who was abusing that in the prior Street Fighters. So now it's kind of like, if you want this move, if you want me to jump in, now you got to earn it. You'll be punished, but then again, you won't be punished. Because you won't have people sitting in the back waiting for you to jump in, and they are they're trying to a focus, a focus attack. The alpha counters, um, I'm kind of glad to see them back because it was kind of pretty cool to introduce that mechanism back in 09, and it's been a while since we had it. I know they put the wall over our eyes. I'm kinda glad we had it. What I'm still not happy about, but I know you know the whole mechanic is, the whole thing of how they did everything else with the only making exclusive to one title. We already knew it was gonna be for the PS4. I just don't like how things were done in the background, so to speak, to leave out a whole other whole group of people 
for the Xbox One that really wanted it. And all the rumors that were speculated about, oh, it's going to come up for the Xbox One. Well, now we know it's not. It's been confirmed. So we're going to get... Yeah, 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 we knew it before. So people who got the, the Xbox... You know, people got an Xbox One that they wanted. Maybe it'd probably, like, get them hyped to go buy a PS4. So... Street Fighter right now, five. I like the new characters. I, I like the new gimmicks because it doesn't give other people the use to abuse moves. Like with M. Bison, now when you activate his V trigger, you can use Psycho Crusher. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, give or take. Um, no, 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 no. His Psycho Crusher is that's his uh, critical art. Okay, that's his critical art. I thought he it was doesn't like, have it as a special move. No, yeah. he has a fireball. Okay, so we can. So yeah, so it kind of gives the people the abuse. Like, when, wait, when you kind of get up, you don't get crossed over the cycle crusher. Now you gotta earn. Now you gotta earn your fights. Oh, so, I can't even hear. Who is that with the in the, in the background. background? Yeah. So now it gives people like, oh, if I'm gonna wake up, I don't have to worry about getting crossed over the cycle crusher. But I may have to get worried about crossing over something else. But at least I have a 50-50 chance of what's gonna come next. So it kind of gives, even though it has like an 09 spin of the games that we've seen, the Street Fighter games that we've seen, it makes everything kind of even. So I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence with Street Fighter Five, but I'm looking forward to the introduction of new characters. I hope Sean comes back. I hope Alex. I'm not sure about Oro. I thought Oro was dead. I'm sorry. I thought Oro was dead. But I kind of know who's not going to be coming back thanks to these new mechanics. So... Thank you, God, for that. Because a lot of people who were speculating who's going to come back in Street Fighter 4, who's going to be in Street Fighter 5, prepare to get your hearts broken. Because I'm going to tell you right now, three people already know who are not going to be in Street Fighter 5, but I'm going to keep that under wraps. I'm done. Okay, that was kind of lengthy. I'd like to retort something for my man here. Um, Fighting games are not system sellers, so... You won't see like a whole bunch of people like, oh, uh, I'm a, I had an Xbox One, but I'm a get a PlayStation Four now just for Street Fighter Five. Like people who are gonna buy Street Fighter Five more than likely will already have a PlayStation Four, right. and you may get like that small crowd of people who will go buy a PlayStation Four just because Street Fighter Five is on it. But it's not gonna be a lot of people. It's not gonna be as many people. In the market that's trying to get a uh, a PS4, I'm trying to get the the white the white console. I'm trying in the market trying to get that one. So I get my little money up a little bit more. I'm gonna purchase one. So yeah, but I'm but, not getting, but, I'm getting it because of other games too, and you know the network. So yeah, but uh, look 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 at the lifetime sales of Street Fighter Four to kind of predict this model. Like Street Fighter Four to date has sold eight million copies, and that's mm -hmm. just not one version of Street Fighter Four. That's all versions of Street Fighter 4 across all consoles. And when you break that down, that's essentially like 2 million version, two million copies per version. And the PlayStation 3 is the dominant version, but not by a lot. So essentially you have like 1.1 million copies to 900,000 copies on the Xbox 360 to PlayStation 3. Okay. And not that many people are hardcore fighting games so i don't see them attracting all two million sales all <laughs> two million of those potential buys to playstation 4 to get street fighter 5 so i think street fighter 5 will sell maybe like 1.2 1.3 million copies but it's not enough to justify its exclusivity to playstation 4 right right it won't be like uh, mortal kombat x how good that game did i got you all right. Um, moving on for time's sake, uh, Khalif, what do you think of uh, Street Fighter Five? Well, I mean, um, right right from the gate, I'm not a I'm not a big fighting game guy. I'm not a big you know in the fighter. So you guys can take this with a grain of salt. But looking at Street Fighter Five, I like what I'm seeing. It looks good to me. What I'm more confused about what people's opinion are saying that you know that it doesn't look good and it's not this, it's not that, it's not doing anything new. I mean, with we just discussed how many Street Fighters come out, how many Street Fighter fours are out have come out. You know, what new stuff can you implement in one franchise? Like, I mean, with with Street Fighter being out, re, being re released so many times, like, what do what do you expect to them to do new? You know, if they're bringing back old mechanics from old games and bringing it into into a new generation fighter for new guys like me that they may want to get it, 
what's the problem? Like, I mean, do, if do we would you rather release them? You know, would you rather have them release a game that's not Street Fighter and do something totally different? Like, I'm I'm just confused on what pe what what people want. I mean, from what I saw, it looks cool. They got new mechanics and stuff that I I've you know I played Street Fighter for before, and some of that stuff looks new. I'm not into it like you know like how you guys are, but. I mean, I, I'm not understanding what 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 do you guys want? That's that's so new that that's like as far as you know that they're not doing right. I'm, I'm confused. Oh, um, no, well, it, it, it's it's all depending on you know the person. And right. I mean, I mean, it, I mean, I'm just saying like in general, in general, what I'm hearing from some people is that it's not good. It doesn't look good. And sometimes I'm thinking to myself, well, maybe if, if it were on multi-platform, would people be saying that? Or is it just because it's on PlayStation that people are saying that? All That's right. the feeling I, that I, I get. I'm, I'm just going to put this out there. If anyone gets a fighting game for graphics, you're fucking dumb. Let's just put that out there That's right true. now. I you're agree. just dumb. And second of all, if you guys are complaining about, like, oh, you want it on different consoles and stuff like that, blame the other companies. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Like, end the fucking story. Because I'm sick and tired of, like, oh, how come Microsoft didn't get it? You got it on PC. Shut up. You're Microsoft. <laughs> oh, how come we're not getting on the 360 and the PS3? They moved on and it's next gen. That's right. it. There's just you, if you guys can't move on with the times, then don't fucking get the game. Like that, <laughs> that's, that's the end that, of that. I feel Preach. like a lot of the hate, a lot of the hate is coming just for that fact. Like I feel like a lot of the criticism that is getting wouldn't wouldn't be coming this way if it were coming to these other platforms. I, I simply. I mean, no. you, you would be right in a sense for, like, the person who is not able to just dish out, like, four or $500 for a fucking console and, uh, you know, just sit there and just get it from one game. Yeah, of course, you're not going to be able to do that. But, I mean, we came to the point already where the companies are needing to make an investment to be able to back themselves up. And they needed to, to do that for their benefit. And what they're doing is they're giving us two options, whether if you could get it on PC or you can get it on PlayStation 4. If you can't get either or, looks like you guys are still going to be stuck playing Street Fighter 4 or Third Strike. <laughs> That's the end of that. I, I, I don't know what else outlet there is for you. But to move on for time's sake, uh, Playboy, what do you think about Street Fighter 5 if you have any input? Amen to what you just said. Okay. <laughs> okay, but you don't have like nothing else? Like anything like, you know, do you like it? Do you hate it? I... It, it it looks cartoony to me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a good honest answer. Um, on your knees? Anything? Um, I was just like Dave. I was thoroughly impressed that the actual demo was 60 frames. Okay. I expected a better joke than that, but okay. I'm okay, sorry. Okay. That was a bad joke. Look but, here, Dr. Big Man. <laughs> okay, but um, really? how about anything like <laughs> mechanic-wise? Really? Nah, I mean. It looks exactly like uh, Street Fighter 4 to me, so I didn't notice any graphical enhancements. Mm -hmm. um, and just bring back pairing for everyone. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with that, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not impressed with what I've seen so far. But then again, how many times can you release the same damn game and make it new? That's, that's right. also true. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Play it like, on the 4K it, TV, what? you get the crystal liquid of effects. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, all right. Let me put I'm my so two cents in now because it seems like this has not changed since the last time I spoke about this game. The game, to me, just looks and probably plays like Street Fighter Cross Tekken, it's like 2.0. You just basically remove gems, you put <laughs> alpha mechanics back into the fucking game, and you took out the focus attack. Whoop the goddamn do. We already played this Street Fighter like five, six years ago, guys. I mean, yeah. what, what, what more can you do to the fucking franchise besides bringing back characters that we haven't seen in ages? Yeah. Like, and that's it, because you're talking about, um, what are they called now? Uh, critical Arts? Is there, is there yeah, Super Bowl? Critical now? Arts. <laughs> it's really the Ultra or Super Bowls, we want to call it, so. Yeah, that's what it is. And then you guys have um, like these V moves, like a V skill, V re reversal, and all that. I'm like, really? The the V skill is just replacing the focus attack. The reversal is the same thing like an alpha counter. And then you have the other shit where they transform, so they have their own unique moves. Yeah. That's that to me. That's just Pandora mode. <laughs> I, I honestly don't see any fucking difference right now. Well, that's just my opinion. We'll wait and see what happens at E3 because they did mention just recently they're going to reveal two characters. That's coming from Ono's mouth. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I guess that's it for this. Uh, does anyone else have any closing statements on this topic before we move on to uh, what has been announced as of now for E3? That's it. 
Nobody. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be uh, covering the Street Fighter Five portion that might be shown at E3 and also at Evo. We might have some new surprises. So for your YouTubers, uh, thanks for watching this uh, particular segment. Uh, hopefully, um, we can get more out of this as um, more news develops. Um, please like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube. Also on every social media. Also go to NewGamingOrder.com for the latest news feed and uh, podcasting uh, topics. And um, for you guys that's live, please stay tuned. For your YouTubers, we're out. Okay. That was pretty long. All right. I'm going to probably wrap this up within one last topic, guys. Because, again, there's really not much to talk about. Like, I'm just being honest with you. So. All right. What's the last topic? Uh, just PSAs and any mentionings of anything. All right. So if you guys have anything, I'll let all of you go first. Um, whatever you would like to talk about as of uh, E3 or just any announcements, whether if it's on Steam, blah, 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 blah. Why not? Then we'll go from there. All right. So, okay. Welcome back, guys. This is our last uh, topic because, again, there's really not much to talk about. This is mainly like an E3 slash uh, Street Fighter Five kind of show today. So we'll probably have more information next week when E3 actually is here. So that will be like some crazy ass uh, flow of information. But we'll jump right into PSAs and announcements from everybody from the group. So we'll basically start out with On Your Knees and we'll follow on. All right. As I was trying to mention early in the show, um, if you ever see a four pack for a game and you want it, uh, you got to buy the four pack first. If you own the game, uh, Steam won't let you buy it. But other than that, the Steam summer sale started today. Um, so make sure you watch for the flash and daily sales is where you're going to take the most money. Um, that should be running for, I think, at least a week, uh, maybe 10 days, so keep an eye out for that. Um, other than that, I don't really got anything else. All right, that, that's still good. Uh, Playboy, anything out in the PC department or any mentionings of announcements? No, just a, <coughs> excuse me, just a couple of interesting items on Kickstarter. A game called Umbra, if you, if you like, you know, action RPG hacking slash games, this one is with the... Um, is made with the Unreal Cry Engine, so look out for that one coming out next year. There's a Kickstarter for it. You know, if you can support it, go to Kickstarter.com and look look up Umbra. That's all I have. All right, that's good. Uh, Shinmore, any announcements or PSAs that you would like to mention? Uh, Batman Arkham Knight next week or two weeks? Two weeks. Just waiting on that. That's all. All right, uh, the Mizzle. Uh, I have two things. Uh, first thing is for all you Forza Horizon 2 people out there, uh, a very interesting pack just dropped today. And for all you people who've been complaining that Porsche hasn't been in Forza for a while, well, stop complaining because the Porsche pack has just arrived in Forza Horizon 2. And if you don't remember, EA monopolized the Porsche license for a good five or six years so it's back out there and it's in forza horizon 2 so go out there and get that it's ten dollars if you want to play it uh the second thing is with e3 coming up i feel the need to stress that for all you people new to gaming and i'm talking about all you people who just came into gaming with the last console generation playstation 3 and xbox 360 Stop bitching about graphics. What's shown at E3 is not indicative of what's going to be in the final product. Yes, the game may look better at E3 because that's being run on the highest of the highest specs on a computer that they're showing it on. But it may not be indicative of the latest graphics. We heard this again with The Witcher 3 and they're like, uh, graphics don't look as good as how it was shown at E3 last year. Fuck off. <laughs> All of you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. That's all I gotta <laughs> say. <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> oh my God. I can leave anything on your end. Uh, nah, man. I got nothing, man. Um, just excited. You, you got, for E3. you got nothing, nothing I, of Destiny related that they're talking about their expansion of unveiling at E3. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm still waiting on that just to see exactly what's going on. They they are calling it Taken King. There was some copyrights put out. 
and um, all types of stuff like that. But, you know, they're talking about a new race coming to Destiny. And so, some rumors are saying that there's an actual an actual race, like a, a humanoid race. And then some people are saying that it's like the cabal led by the fallen captains and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's all hearsay. And, and I, I, I try to not to stay away from that because I don't like to look stupid at the end of the day when it's not that. So, right. Nothing, nothing for here. This wait ready for Ethan. We'll have a lot to talk about next week. Uh, yeah, that's that's damn for sure. And uh, finally, Takuma, any announcements or uh, PSAs you'd like to mention? Uh, let's see, announcements. Well, I just finally got the over um, ten thousand points on All Street Fighter Four with Guy. So oh shit, <laughs> I said achievement. I'm, I was like, I never thought I'd get there, but yay! So I got a B plus. So, you know, but I also had a little tip for the um, another gamer. You know, I'll keep his name, but. If you check out my YouTube channel, um, Shintakuma77, uh, or ShadowStep77, you check it out. Um, it's me and a Pacific uh, Balrog player, not Shinwar. Somebody else who played Balrog, so yeah, it's a little tip, but you know, check it out. Other than that, though, um, that's all I get. So, you know, people, keep on gaming. Don't complain about graphics, and <laughs> hope laugh. Amen. <laughs> all right so i will wrap it up with like a quick two minutes of uh what's going to be shown and what's happening now as of games or things that it's not going to be shown crackdown the legend of zelda for the wii u nintendo mobile games minecraft story mode quantum break Scalebound, and titanfall 2 will not be appearing at e3 this year due to whatever oh. reasoning oh one more one more thing i hope i'm not too late here Go ahead. but um they, 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 um, IGN did report on uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 having some microtransactions, although we don't know yeah. exactly what they are. Um, a lot of people are, are getting uh, a little excited about this in the wrong way, of course, like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not down on it because we, uh, of course, don't know what it is, but right. just hold your horses, people. Hold your horses. I mean, Michael. I already got my pitchforks and the torch ready. You can't tell me to put that shit away. Exactly. It's the internet. We're supposed to be in Put them away. Micro transactions are the devil. Yeah, put put them are. away, guys. I mean, the, the my response to macro transaction is don't buy them. That's that's all I had to say about micro transactions. And like I said, they confirmed it. Uh, well, IGN reported it. I don't. I didn't hear anything from Konami confirming it, but it, it seems like it may be in there. Okay. No, macro transactions are definitely in the game. People who have tested the game out have seen them, so they definitely are in the game. All yeah. right. Um, oh. Let's see. As of like random uh, stories that I'm reading here from IGN, they're you know going to be showing Fallout 4, Dark Souls 3, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, The Last Guardian, which yeah. might appear. You know that game hasn't appeared in like fucking forever, so we'll see about that. Um, apparently, rumor is that Platinum Games has uh, two games to announce, and one of them might be Devil May Cry. The other one is uh, still unknown. Um, Cry. Yeah, Mass, nope. e- Mass Effect Four might be uh, shown at uh, E3. Um, let's see, Halo Five will be shown at E3. No shit. Destiny expansion might be um, shown along with Skylanders. I don't give a fuck about Skylanders. <laughs> Um, let's see here. They're gonna be showing stuff about the Nintendo World Championship within the the week of E3. Uh, so Square Enix is gonna have like a a ton of new announcements dealing with RPGs, first person shooters, and fighters. Uh, Capcom is gonna be you know of course unveiling Street Fighter Five along with like two other games. Uh, Nintendo really not much and PC. PC is just a lot of like games that has already been out that is coming to PC and brand new IPs. And as far as that, that's it for IGN stuff. The only other PSAs that I have to mention is that if you guys have yet to get um, Tanya and Mortal Kombat X, I know we spoke about this in the previous week. If you haven't gotten her, she is already out. You know, for you guys that who does not have the season pass, you can go pick her up. You know, she's available now. Um, for you people who's been bitching and crying and complaining about um, PS4's Ultra Street Fighter 4, they recently came out with a 1.03 patch update to lower down the latency, which is on the rivaling path of the 360 version. Just a few minor bugs that will make it, you know, perfect match. Um, another update for The Witcher for the PC, they fix a lot of like graphical and UI inputs along with like quest bugs. 
So if you guys were complaining about that, there you go. Has all been fixed. They've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, let's see, Xenoverse. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shinwar has been playing this quite uh, lately. They released the final DLC pack for Xenoverse with the you know the Super Saiyan gods and the uh, yep. Golden Frieza, among with other moves, um, yep. stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. They also talk about mentioning of the new Guilty Gear game, talking about they're doing testing. They're not sure if the game's going to be DLC added on to the existing game, so we might have to buy another, yeah, another copy, which would be dumb. And, of course, if you guys have not noticed, um, besides E3, EVO is right around the corner, so it's technically tournament season, so you tournament yep. heads out there, you know, start practicing now, because once, e once EVO comes, shit's going to get crazy. <laughs> and lastly but not least um, we did speak about this earlier about um, the Xbox One getting uh, an update apparently they're going to be doing that update during E3 and it will go live right after their press conference is over pertaining of what it is we don't know if it's like the actual update from Windows 10 with the app we have no idea what it is so yeah, stay tuned to that and honestly I think that's it um, final words from anyone? Anything? Nope. Nope. No? No? Okay. All right, guys. So um, once again, Alex is not here due to a personal issue that he had to take care of. But I'll be closing out the show. Thank you guys for watching. We finally made it over uh, past 1,400 subscribers on YouTube. That's a good uh, achievement that we have acquired. We would like to make <laughs> it past uh, 2,000, probably even higher. You know, it's all up to you guys to make that possible. Thank you, Full Screen, for supporting us and getting our viewership up. Um, also, if you guys haven't already know, we're always streaming on Twitch. This is live on Twitch right now for your YouTube guys. Check us out there. We're trying to increase our viewership so we could get partnership on uh, Twitch.tv. And mainly, we're going to be doing bigger and better stuff. And stay tuned for next week, where that will be E3 Central. Oh, my God. That's, that's going to be fun. And with that, guys, we will see you uh, next week. Alrighty. All right, and we're Peace. done. All right. Okie dokie. All right, Bye. guys, I'm going to sign off because I got some things to take care of, and plus I have company over, so okay. cool. I got to sign off. So if anyone wants to hit me up, just do it in Facebook or text. All right, y'all. All right, man. All right, All right man. Yeah.